Welcome back to Money Matters, your God, to show for all things finance and personal wealth management. In today's episode, we'll be discussing a topic that many people find themselves considering at some point in their lives, transforming credit card debt into a personal loan. We'll delve into the pros and cons, explore the reasons behind such a decision, and provide you with valuable insights on making the most informed choices. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. To kick things off, let's start by understanding why someone might consider turning their credit card debt into a personal loan. Credit card debt can quickly accumulate due to high interest rates and minimum monthly payments that barely make a dent in the principal amount owed. Our financial expert, Sarah, is here to shed some light on this matter. Sarah, what are the primary reasons individuals opt for this solution? Sarah, thanks, host. There are several key reasons why individuals choose to convert credit card debt into a personal loan. Firstly, credit cards often carry high interest rates, sometimes reaching an astonishing 20s or more. In contrast, personal loans usually offer lower interest rates, making them an attractive option for those seeking to save money on interest payments. Additionally, personal loans provide the advantage of a fixed repayment term, which allows borrowers to establish a clear timeline for debt repayment. Lower interest rates and a fixed repayment term certainly sound appealing, Sarah. However, there must be both advantages and disadvantages associated with this approach. Can you walk us through them? Sarah, absolutely, host. Let's start with the pros. As mentioned, personal loans typically have lower interest rates than credit cards, potentially saving borrowers a significant amount of money in interest payments over time. Moreover, personal loans often come with a fixed repayment term, allowing borrowers to plan their finances more effectively. They can create a structured budget and have a clear endpoint for their debt. Additionally, Consolidating credit card debt into a personal loan simplifies repayment by combining multiple debts into a single monthly payment. Now, let's talk about the cons. While personal loans offer lower interest rates, securing such a loan may be more challenging for individuals with poor credit scores. Furthermore, Personal loans may have fees and charges associated with them, such as origination fees or prepayment penalties, which borrowers need to carefully consider. It's essential to weigh these pros and cons before making a decision. Thanks for breaking down the pros and cons, Sarah. Now let's discuss the actual process of converting credit card debt into a personal loan. Can you guide us through the necessary steps? Absolutely, host. The process usually involves the following steps. First, you should research and compare personal loan options from various lenders to find the best terms and interest rates. It's crucial to check your credit score beforehand to assess your eligibility and negotiate better terms. Once you've chosen a lender, you'll need to complete their application process. This typically involves submitting your personal and financial information, along with details of your existing credit card debt. The lender will then evaluate your application, including your credit worthiness and income, to determine whether to approve your loan. If your loan is approved, the lender will provide you with the funds to pay off your credit card debt. From that point on, you'll start making monthly payments on the personal loan until it's fully repaid. Remember, it's important to make these payments on time to improve your credit history and ensure a successful financial transition. Thank you for explaining the process so clearly, Sarah. Before we wrap up, could you share some expert advice for our viewers who might be considering this option? Sarah. Certainly, host. 
If you're considering converting credit card debt into a personal loan, there are a few key points to keep in mind. Firstly, take the time to thoroughly research and compare different lenders to find the most favorable terms. Pay close attention to interest rates, fees, repayment terms, and any potential penalties. Secondly, create a comprehensive budget that reflects your new financial reality. Make sure you can comfortably afford the monthly payments on the personal loan while also covering your other financial obligations. Lastly, it's important to address the root cause of your credit card debt. Consider adjusting your spending habits and developing a strategy to prevent future debt accumulation. Wise advice, Sarah. That brings us to the end of today's episode. We hope you found this discussion on converting credit card debt into a personal loan enlightening and helpful. Remember, always consult with a financial advisor or credit counselor before making any significant financial decisions. Join us next time on Money Matters, where we'll continue to explore practical tips for managing your personal finances. Until then, take care and make wise choices.